Hello, I'm Matthew Hawkins back here with another video. Welcome to episode 3 of my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time. They're my top 53, not yours. This is entries number 33 all the way to 24 in this third episode, third installment. So let's get on with it. So with my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time, part 3. Number 33, Satin Sheets, Bud Light, Super Bowl 36. You know, it's, it's almost a lad's dream, isn't it? You know, you've got your lass who's, you know, act, you know, wanting to get, you want to get in between the sheets with, um, you know, this guy, it begged to differ, but until uh, she had cold Bud Light... So he immediately comes dashing to the, where well, predictably he goes flying, he goes flying and misses. But he, how much of an epic fail, he goes flying out of the window and ends up having to run back with no clothes on, which is um, not a pretty sight to see for a straight lad who really, 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 really does not want to be seeing that. Uh, I thought it was again very humorous, it's one I often go to. The, this was voted by them the best commercial, apparently on the ad meter from USA Today, as the B, the most popular Super Bowl commercial for this particular Super Bowl. I agree, this is one I often go to for if I want a Super Bowl commercial from that Super Bowl. I really enjoy it. Like, it was a bit fu very funny. The usual, you know, Bud Light's humor style is second to none. They're probably the best. Uh, them and Doritos, Doritos do the most humorous adverts, I think. You know, that's their trademark. That's their thing. Um, and again, very good offer. So, yes, at number 33, it was Sassin Sheets and Super Bowl 36. Number 32, Just My Shell, M&M's, Super Bowl 46. Now, this one um, is more than just a Super Bowl advert here because it's been a, a lot. I think this didn't air really during the Super Bowl. Obviously, it didn't here. Yeah. Um, now, you wonder how, with this, you wonder how the M&M anatomy works. You know, even with her brown shell, you'd think Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown is nude. You know, as someone mistook that she was nude. Then it's just, uh, it looks like her chocolate showing. <laughs> Where even Red mistakes the, the curtain and he bears all, which is not pleasant, and dances to LMFAO's sexy and I know it. Uh, again, a very humorous advert. I think M&M's, they do a couple as well. And, Spoiler alert, one of them is on this list. Uh, it's not on this episode, but it's definitely on this list. Again, very humorous. But yeah, so number 32, uh, just my shell, M&M's from Super Bowl 46. Number 31, The Lady, Bud Light, Super Bowl 39. Now, I bet, uh, let me know in the comments if you're a lad. I personally, I've sort of never really felt like, never had this scenario, sad me. Uh, which actually is a good thing to be fair, but you know, where if you've been in this scenario, lads, uh, you're out with your girlfriend or your wife or your fiance or your partner, and um, a bloke chats, or another bloke's trying to chat her up. That's immediately what I thought of when I uh, came in the, when I first saw this advert. Um, but instead of a bloke trying to confront this guy chatting her, chatting her up, this lass up, uh, you've got a parrot. I think it's a parrot, I should check. I thought, I thought again it was pretty bloody humorous, you know. Bud Light, that is their trademark all year round with their commercials, especially during the Super Bowl. And this proved uh just that no exception. Very, very funny. Um I like it as well at the end. You don't want to go there, buddy. They're scaring away another guy's you know of all things a parrot. So that definitely does make make it different uh, and very very funny in the process. I th I would have put probably another blow, but actually this makes it funnier. Number thirty one, the lady Bud Light Super Bowl thirty nine. Number thirty, Clydesdale training Budweiser Super Bowl forty two. The Super Bowl that was obviously best known for the Patriots denying being denied the perfect season by Eli Manning, David Tyree, and the Giants with the infamous helmet catch. Included again one a Super Bowl that's again got some sentimental value to me. This is one I didn't realise it was a Super Bowl advert. Uh, when I saw it, but I'd seen it and I really liked it. Um, 
I was in a bit, had a bit of Rocky fever at the time. I remember, and uh, so I quite liked the uh, the training montage where it's Clydesdale that's out of the team. It's not going to be in the team. His dogma is being trained into the style of Rocky. So a good job by Budweiser on this one for a very humorous advert. Uh, again, I go with a lot of humour. I mean, from what I've seen, this is what Super Bowl commercials are all about, as you've probably seen on this list. Um, obviously, the training was enough, and you think of the series, all the hard work paid off. So you think, even though it's quite humorous, but it makes it good, like, just work hard, work at it, and it likely will pay off. So at number 30, Clyde Steel Training, Budweiser, Super Bowl 42. Number 29, It's a Miracle, Doritos, Super Bowl 44. And that's in the last episode, the KGB advert uh, was my favourite. Um, but, I mean, this gets the nod, I think, now in this countdown. I mean, I thought it was quite insane. A Doritos mad person had his, who supposedly died had his wish. A casket full of Doritos. His dream for his send-off. And... He's actually, he's alive. So then he tips over and he's alive and well. And thinking, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. So number th 29, it's it's a miracle. Dritos from Super Bowl 44. And speaking of miracles, number 28, Montana Miracle Stain, tied Super Bowl 47. Now this one for pure insanity. <laughs> and the abs and Something that goes against Tide, but they remind us no stain should ever be sacred. Where some guys is watching the game and a Montana stain in the shape of 49ers legend Joe Montana. And it becomes a miracle. It becomes the talk of the world. It goes, he even opens Montana land. All hell breaks loose. He's a, he's a media darling until his wife, who is a Ravens fan, who the Niners opponent was in that Super Bowl. Washed his new his 49ers jersey because it had a stain on it. No reminding us, no stain is absolutely sacred. So number 28, it's the Montana Miracle Stain from Tide from Super Bowl 47. Number 27, Dog Sitter, Bud Light, Super Bowl 45. Have you guessed how many Budweiser or Bud Light commercials are in this countdown or how many Super Bowl 45 commercials have been in this countdown. I mean, I've lost count myself. This one, again, adds a bit of sentimental value to me. Um, You've got someone dog-sitting a huge amount of dogs. It's not my ideal place at all. Not my ideal place at all. Um, and he teaches them to do all sorts of things. One DJing, one serving drinks at a bar, and having a party, as Bud Light was the party beer, and probably still is. And obviously there were some dogs playing poker. So number 27, it's Dog Sitter from Bud Light from Super Bowl 45. Number 26, yet yeah, we waste two million dollars, E-Trade, Super Bowl 34. The year 2000, where we've gone past the Y2K bug, and the internet was sort of just starting to take off, if it hadn't it took off before, it was it was very starting to now. And E-Trade, investing online company, had this Super Bowl advert for the ages. I like this, how simple it was. It's, and it works really well for what E-Trade is about. Investing money online. Where they just wasted money. The one with the dancing monkey, obviously. Um, which definitely probably will not go through today. Because uh, of animal rights laws, hence uh, why PG had to swap their mascot from a real live monkey to uh, the puppet one over here for the famous ad campaign. I'm not sure if it's the same in the United States. So, but one year, a monkey comes in, puts on a stereo, and starts dancing. And you think, well, oh, whoa, waste of $2 million to so a dancing monkey. You know, no reason. But then you think, what, are you, what am I doing with my money? I'm not investing it online. I could get bigger and greater things. Granted, it could all go belly up. So, a very clever idea. Good job, E-Trade. So, yeah, number 26, it's E-Trade's wasting $2 million from Super Bowl 34. Wasting money just like that with a very simple idea. Now, where have I heard that before? Number 25, the test card, FedEx, Super Bowl 32. Now, this probably was a lot more simpler. 
And from what I've heard, obviously, now I was only a toddler. Unfortunately, I've not been an NFL fan since Bear. And I definitely would have had access in 1998 to all the American commercials. But this one, from what I've heard, really grabbed the attention. There was the buzz, and it was an error, a test card, thinking, oh, you should be seeing something else. And it was a very simple idea. It was, you know, it grabbed the attention. You're thinking, what's happening? What's happening? It's a test card. It should be something else. It should be an advert for Earthco Insurance. But instead, it's it's not. It's just a test card because some idiot at their ad agency didn't use FedEx. Had it used FedEx, it would have got to NBC on time for the game. 1.36 million, I believe, went down the tubes because they couldn't. They didn't use FedEx. What a simple idea. Thumbs up again from FedEx, their ad agency. And obviously FedEx, I assume, sent it themselves to uh, FedEx it themselves to uh, NBC to get there in time for the game. A very simple idea and a very good job, I think, again. So number 25, it's the test card from FedEx from Super Bowl 32. Number 24, Terry Tate, office linebacker. Reebok, Super Bowl 37. Now, I'm more of a big fan of the series. I've seen the clips on YouTube and on uh, Vimo. Well, I've seen the clips on the internet, the shorts, the Reebok shorts. But a compilation altogether for this Super Bowl 37 commercial. And oh, he's absolutely great. You think? <laughs> Very unrealistic because obviously, um, <laughs> you know, there'd be a lot of lawsuits and a lot of injuries. <laughs> but by, was it the skits? Those videos and the advert of damn well made me laugh. They're very humorous. That is what I love. That's what a film makes a good Super Bowl advert. The humor and the great attention. You know, ones, you know, you get the funny ones that have stood the test of time. You get others, a gimmick, a cheap publicity stunt. So at number 24, it's TTTOLB. Terry Tate, office linebacker from Reebok from Super Bowl 37. Well, guys, that's it for the third part of the six that is my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time. Don't forget to come back tomorrow where we'll give you a, another 10 entries into the list. Don't forget to go back and watch the past two as well. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment below what are you thinking of it so far. If you don't like it, fair enough, click a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new, if you want some more, and you'll know when the next episode's coming out. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Hawkins underscore Matt US. And if you need some cheer, have no fear, Big Matt Hawk is here.